I literally just ended the last vlog and I'm starting a new one. Um, if you haven't watched that video yet, go check it out. Uh, we went to Knights of Jack in Calabasas, like a little Halloween event that was super fun. Um, if you guys follow the Kardashians, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, and then yesterday I was kind of talking about how I drank for like four days in a row, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Didn't eat super well. I was feeling bloated and gross. My skin's breaking out. So yesterday I just tried to reel it back in, let my body rest. I got a good night's sleep last night. And besides my skin completely breaking out, I'm feeling really good this morning, but um, I'm about to go over to the gym and try and do a leg workout. Why do I say try and do a leg workout? That's what I'm gonna do is a leg workout. And um, yeah, so I wanted to get another video started and really dedicate this video to this kind of getting back in shape journey that I've been on for a month now. Um, I weighed in at 144.4 pounds this morning. That's like the lowest I've been since starting this. I started at around 150, 151 pounds. Um, so what I'm doing is working despite being off track for a few days. Yeah, so let's get into this video. Let's go work out. And then um, I'll see you guys over at the gym. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Whoa, my hair looks super brassy. I don't like that. Um, Today is Wednesday, October 20th. I'm not sure how far I updated you guys on, but the end of my last vlog, um, which is the same day I started this vlog, I was telling you guys how I really felt like <coughs> Like I fell off track. I had been drinking like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We did things with friends. We were like hanging out by the pool. I just feel like I kind of fell off of my good habits. And the beginning of this week, like Monday and Tuesday, I was just so tired. My energy was so low. I just was not feeling good at all. Um, because I just wasn't taking care of myself for like those few days not eating as clean, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what also watched that vlog cause we went to the nights of Jack and Calabasas and that was super fun. But at the end of the vlog, I do kind of open up to you guys and it's just like a, that real feeling. And I'm sure so many of you can relate, um, of when you've been on a really good track and then you mess up and you kind of just are so disappointed in yourself because when you start any kind of like life journey, you're like, okay, like I'm, I'm really gonna stick to this. Like I'm not gonna go back to my old ways. And then at some point you probably do and you feel like you just let yourself down. But since then, so Monday, Tuesday and today, um, obviously not drinking, um, working out, getting rest, eating clean and I'm like back to feeling really good. It just takes a couple days. If you get off track, let this be your hope that it just takes a couple days to get back into it. But right now I am heading to Massage Envy um, to go get a facial. And today I'm doing microderm abrasion facial. Oh, damn it. I forgot that we put um, new my California plates on my car and I didn't have them. Shit, I hope I don't have like some kind of ticket or something. I got really lucky they didn't tow my damn car because it's been parked there for days. But obviously I'm gonna show you guys my skin afterwards. And that's another thing I'm like super bummed out about with kind of going off track there and like eating like crap and drinking so much because I have pimples everywhere. And I really wanted to like show up to this facial appointment and be like, look how much my skin has improved because really, 
it has. And like even just before the weekend, my skin was so clear and glowy and it was just looking better than ever. And now it's like, I have like pimples and stuff, but whatever. Anyway, so I will, um, after the facial, show you guys what my skin looks like and tell you about my experience and you know, if I like it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I have, if you guys have not seen, if you guys haven't seen me um, explain it in a different vlog, I have, David and I both have a monthly subscription to Massage Envy and you can use like an hour service once a month. If you skip a month, you have two hours um, and you can use it for, you know, massages, facials, whatever. So I'm gonna be using mine for facials. I like getting a massage, I mean, who doesn't? But I get, I feel like getting a facial is something that's gonna benefit me a lot. I wanna keep my skin looking good, so to be able to like have that service once a month, it's gonna be great. So anyway, I will check in with you guys um, after I'm done. So this is what my skin looks like right after. The facial, you can see where she did all of the extractions. I have a huge pimple right here. She was like, it might be two pimples that end up being like one big pimple or um, I don't know, but uh, yeah. So this is what it looks like right after I'm done. And that's just, like I said, all the places that she did extractions. And then like in an hour or so, it totally calms down. It's not nearly as red. Um, but the best thing is, is like, if you just like put your hand over your skin after these facials, the texture is like pretty much all gone and it's like nice and even and smooth because obviously what's giving you that texture is like all the blackheads and pimples and things like that. The only thing is that wasn't a microderm abrasion face facial. Microderm abrasion facial. Um, when I made the appointment after my last appointment, um, I told them could I do the microderm and I don't think that they put it down as that because that's not what she did and I wanted to ask like hey are we doing that today but I get like so shy whatever regardless it was a great facial and you know this is perfectly fine but I made an appointment for next month um, and made sure that I said can you put it down as a microderm abrasion facial um, but this one Again, it was great. And then right before she finished up, she said that she put on a really like calming, relaxing mask. It's gonna help with any inflammation and calming down all of these red spots. But um, yeah, that was a great facial. I think, you know, sometimes people like stray away from getting facials at Massage Envy because it's like this chain place and you don't think that you're gonna get like this customized, really nice facial. But the, the my last one and this one were both really good and you know, after getting the facial, my skin just got better and better. So I think I'm actually going to do like a highlight reel on my Instagram of like skincare and this skincare um, journey basically of trying to get my skin at a place where I have less acne. It looks, you know, younger and fuller and just healthier. And then, um, you guys could keep up there if you follow me on Instagram because even after my last facial, I did have a couple people asking me like, hey, can you keep me updated? What did you think, et cetera, et cetera. So I really like the Massage Envy facials. Um, that was like super relaxing, except even though I peed before the appointment, I had to pee so bad the entire time, which is so annoying. Like I cannot fully relax if I have to pee. So next time I need to just like dehydrate myself before the appointment so that I don't have to pee the entire time. But yeah. I feel like it looks really good, um, especially once all this redness goes down. My skin's gonna be looking so nice and glowy. So yeah, if you have a massage in uh, near you, then absolutely do that. Like they do a great job. I, I really like the products that she uses and um, it's really affordable. So anyway, I'm going to head home, probably have a little snack or something and then go over to the gym. Hello, it has been a couple days since I picked up uh, my camera. It is Friday, October 22nd, it's like two o'clock. Um, I am just about to head over to, I think it's called the Tyler, the Victoria Center. Why am I blinking? Um, about to head over to like this mall area uh, to return a bunch of stuff that David got at H&M 
um, because he ended up ordering it online because there was like a better discount. So I'm taking back all the stuff that he replaced on the, with that online order. David's actually out of town right now. He went to Ohio to hang out with our friend Adam because Adam was deployed for six months and he just recently got back. So he's gonna go hang out with his friend for like four or five days. So he just left yesterday. Um, today so far, I've actually had a really great day. Um, I got a lot of sleep, slept in a little bit, and then I went over to the gym, had a really great workout, had a good breakfast, took a shower, got ready. Um, yeah, so I'm just feeling good and I'm excited to go over to H&M. And I have no clue what I'm doing tonight. I am actually, like I purposely made no plans for why, while David was gone because um, I don't know, like I've been in a really, introverted kind of mindset or like mood um i don't really want to talk to anybody i don't want to hang out like i don't want to make plans i don't really want to do anything i just want to just be alone in silence like i don't know if you guys go through that those phases if you're an introverted person then you totally understand what i'm saying um I can be extroverted around certain people and in the right situations, but if I have a lot of plans going on or too many social things that have been happening or like I've talked to too many people in a short amount of time, like I just get so overwhelmed and basically like shut down, like log off for days. So this whole last week, David kept being like, are you okay? Like what's wrong? Um, which is obviously super nice. He wants to make sure that I'm like, okay, you know, and, and, and a, like a good space and I'm not depressed or upset about anything. But if your personality is anything like mine, that is something that can just be like, it almost like will make you more frustrated. It's like, I'm fine. Like, I just don't want to talk like there. I, and, and you feel bad when you're in a relationship and you know, if you have a partner that he almost feels like, you know, I don't want to be around him or like I'm not showing him like love or affection or like I'm annoyed by him and like that's not the case. It's like I want him to be around me. I just want him to be there, but like for us to just be silent together, like I don't know how to explain it. I was just having a really like off week and yeah, there was nothing upsetting me. It like like nothing specific upsetting me and definitely not David. I just was like, we are such different people. We are, we have such different personalities. David always has energy. He always wants to talk. He's always down for a conversation. He's very extroverted. Like he doesn't get socially exhausted. He can just keep going and going and going. Like his battery never runs out. And for me, if I have like three social interactions in like one to two days, I'm like, okay, like I need to be alone for a couple days. Like I'm kind of overwhelmed. So let me know if you guys have that the kind of same personality. So I'm glad he's having fun and I'm totally gonna miss him. I wish we could like all hang out, but it is going to be kind of nice to just be alone for a few days, like get stuff done around the house, go shopping. I think I wanna go antiquing tomorrow and just kind of like be in my bubble for a little bit. Um, anyway, so that's kind of the mindset I'm in and that's what I've been up to. And yeah, let's go over to H&M. Let's do some shopping. I'll show you guys like the stuff I find or whatever I get. And yeah, I'm excited. I brought my headphones. I'll probably put like a little podcast in or something or just listen to music and just like zone out and look at clothes and shop. That's just the vibe I'm feeling. Honestly, vlogging and YouTube is like the perfect relationship. You and me have the perfect relationship right now because I can talk to you when I want to and you're not asking me a million questions or asking me what's wrong. Like I don't have to have a back and forth conversation. It's one sided. You guys can just listen to me. And when I don't want to talk and I want to be like in my own little bubble, I can just, you know, film, put some music over it, not really say anything. So thank you guys for being here right now because, um, yeah, this is exactly what I need. Anyway, let's go over to H and M.
Sword and Scale podcast playing. If you guys have not listened to that podcast, you need to. Um, already, I found some really cute, you guys, a button-up. You think button-up and satin? I'm here for it. Chocolate brown. And then I found a really pretty blue, like matching sweat set. Yeah, if I get into the dressing room or anything, I will show you guys what I end up trying on. It's exactly five minutes after noon. Um, so yesterday, I went to a little happy hour at the Tory Gardens and then went over to H&M, went to Zara. I tried on a bunch of stuff, but... Sorry, I have the door open because it's super nice and cloudy and chilly outside. Um, I didn't find anything that... I like absolutely needed or like fell in love with. Like the last time I did a huge shop at H&M, I felt like everything. I was like, I need this, 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 and this. And maybe because I did that huge shop, this time when I went in, I was like, I do want this thing and I want this thing. And I tried on some great stuff, like the chocolate brown, like satin top and everything. But I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. So then I went over to Zara. I'd never actually been into a Zara before. And anything I liked there was like $120, so didn't do that. I did try on some cool stuff, but yeah, I just wasn't like feeling any magic yesterday with the shopping. Um, <clears throat> but I did feel quite a wine buzz. So I did like shop for a long time and like walk around for a while because obviously I wasn't gonna drive. Um, I only had three glasses of wine, but uh, yeah, anyway, so then I came home and drank more wine and watched the Kardashians and just like chilled. It was so lazy and like, oh my gosh. I think it's because like David's out of town. I know like he's eating and he's drinking and he's having fun. So I'm like, maybe I'll just like do the same thing. <laughs> um, Phoebe, come here. So yeah, I drank a good amount yesterday and Woke up at like 6 a.m. so thirsty. So I like came, came in here, filled up my water, chugged water, went back to bed, then woke up at like 10. Um, and ever since then, I've literally just been laying in bed. I took the dogs out, obviously, and gave them breakfast and everything. I've just been laying in bed, like scrolling through TikTok. So very like lazy, not super healthy weekend, but you know what can you do i did however have a really good workout yesterday and i'm so sore today i did like a trx band uh workout and it was really good i'm gonna start doing that a lot more maybe i'll like film some of the things that i do because i i might even do that again today even though i'm sore like it just felt so good so maybe i'll when i go to the gym <clears throat> later i'll bring my camera and just film some of those like movements so that if you have trx bands at your gym or at home or whatever you can you know incorporate some of those things um, I was going to go antique shopping today, but I'm just like, actually not surprisingly, I'm not really like in the shopping mood. Um, and I just don't feel like super like inspired or like feeling creative. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of in a funk right now. I won't lie. Um, I was, I get like this. I'll be like killing it for weeks, like on a high. And then like, I just go through like a week phase where I'm kind of like, introverted like i was saying yesterday just kind of introverted not feeling creative not feeling like inspired by anything and then you know i'll go back up again you know we all go through those waves so 
Um, if I do end up going antique shopping tomorrow because the place is open, um, I'll probably start a whole different vlog. This one, I think I've been like filming stuff for an entire week, so I'm, I'm not even sure how long it is or you know what we have, but <clears throat> yeah. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hopefully y'all are on the opposite side or the opposite wave of me um, where you're, you're feeling awesome and creative and healthy and all those things because I'm just having one of those weeks where I do not feel that. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to have some breakfast, make some coffee, um, and actually just curl up on the couch and probably just watch some movies and stuff today because like I said, it's cloudy, it's chilly. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna take advantage of just having the apartment to myself and just watch a bunch of movies and maybe order some food later. I don't know. But yeah, I think tomorrow um, I'm gonna start a new vlog because I need to go grocery shopping. Maybe I'll do some antique shopping. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, th we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna go around the apartment, light all the candles, turn the lights off, and just get really cozy and chill. But hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you're watching this. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't really know what the video was, honestly, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.